Okay, we're solving simultaneous equations graphically. Now, the graphically bit means we've got to use graphs. All right, so they've given us a couple of, of equations here. Remember, the x value and the y value in each equation are going to be the... Sorry, the x value in each equation is going to be the same, and the y value in each equation is going to be the same. So, first of all, we need to plot the uh, first graph. Y equals 3x minus 2. We should know it's y equals mx plus c, isn't it? Y equals mx plus c where c is the y-intercept, y-int, right, and m is the gradient, right, you should, uh, should know that, so y-intercept is minus 2, so it crosses the y-axis at minus 2, and the gradient means for every 1 I go to the right, I go up 3, a long one 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 up 3, you're going to use a ruler, obviously, to do this, I think the quicker I do it, the better I am, there you go. Now the second one says that the x coordinate and the y coordinate add up to make 6. It tells you that there. Um, now, 0, 6 and 6, 0. All right. Uh, what about 3, 3? There you go. They add up to make 6. What about 4, 2? What about uh, four, uh, 2, 4? 1, 5? Five, one. You see, I've got a whole load now of, and I'm going to try and draw this as accurately as possible. When you do this, like I say, make sure you use a ruler. Right, that's as good as you can be. Now, the point where it crosses, I'm going to do that in, actually I should do it in purple, really, I'll use blue and red. So, is at 2, 4. So, therefore, the solution to these, and you'd need to write this, is x equals 2, y equals 4, right, and that's from here, isn't it, where we, um, the x coordinate is 2, the y coordinate is 4, so therefore the solution to these simultaneous equations, x equals 2, y equals 4, you can check them by putting them into one of these or both, all right, but that's essentially how you do it, plot the lines, see where they cross, there are the solutions. They won't always be as nice as two, four. You might have to, um, you might have one and a half or minus. Don't forget, you could have negatives, uh, fractions, whatever. But that's essentially how you do it. That's how they all work.